What is up YouTuber? It's nice to see you in the house and this here is my cheap quadcopter. Uh, yeah, it's uh, built with the T-Motor stack that I reviewed uh, a couple of weeks ago. A little longer than I had anticipated because I couldn't, couldn't fly FPV. And I'll show you in a minute why I couldn't fly. Not because of my own doing. Anyhow, I've uh, built me the quadcopter and I've done approximately 20 flights with it already. So today I'm going to show you what a cheap quadcopter in 2023 is like. Does it fly well? Is it fun? Let's get into it. Oh, and uh, at the end of the video I'll uh, also show and tell you why it was hard to tune this cheap quadcopter. Not because of its price, maybe yeah, a little bit. <laughs> Let's do some prying. Here we go. Serious? Alrighty, lift off of the cheapo quadcopter, the Source One, TBS Source One. And you can also now see why I was grounded, right? I got me an Orca goggle which was bricked. Well, mine wasn't bricked, but I couldn't start it up. Uh, and in case you missed it, there was a firm rare issues with this uh, Orca goggle, but it's fine now. And uh, yeah, so I've got me a nice analog goggle again. And also, uh, I'm not sure um, how much of the, the background noise you can hear of the cars. You can probably see behind me testing out a different spot here. Yeah, uh, okay, so uh, also, also the HD footage from the quadcopter itself is non-stabilized. No stabilization whatsoever. And uh, one other note. Uh, the, the bicycle route I just flew over there, that one, is a bit busy. It's a Sunday, so uh, and it's, uh, the weather is nice, so uh, people are cycling. So I can't race through these, this group of trees. Um, in case I miss a cyclist, I might, uh, well, get myself and him or her in trouble still okay cheap quadcopter uh, again this is uh, approximately my 20th flight and it flies very nicely by now and you tell me in the comment section below of course what you think does it fly well I wouldn't say it's uh, the tune is already really perfect uh, as I hadn't haven't flown it a lot with an HD cam on it so that might be a little bit of a cap gotcha but I think it flies pretty nicely could I get get it uh, into proper oscillation sure if I fly uh, stupidly I sure I could But uh, I'm enjoying this quadcopter. I, I definitely still very much enjoy flying analog quadcopters. Uh, because, partly because of the lower risk of you losing uh, hundreds of dollars when, if you crash it into water over there, for instance. And there's uh, some ease of mind. And I do have a, a good FPV camera in this quadcopter. By the way, there's a link to all parts in the description down below and they are not affiliate links. So just in case you want to know what made this quadcopter. And it's um, also a racy quadcopter, pretty fast. That's probably due to the motors and the propellers. And maybe a little bit because of the camera angle I'm running it at. But uh, yeah, I enjoy flying this quadcopter for all kinds of reasons and not in the least because it's cheap uh, the risks aren't enormous over here right by the way right if i'd crash i'd uh, be crashing on sand but still yeah so i am happy with my quadcopter and it's it was cheap so Win, win. So for the last thing, I'll I'll cut actually to a uh, another clip I flew here, and you'll see that uh, 
um, I had a little more leeway uh, over the in the trees and you can see that it's a racy quadcopter after that I'll show and tell you why this quadcopter was a little harder to tune than my other quadcopter So I actually decided to against uh, adding a lot of video as it wouldn't have added much. Uh, as you could see my demo flight, uh, demonstration flight was already pretty racy. I'm always a little bit uh, worried that uh, the narrated flight looks dull because I'm obviously also concentrating on narrating things. But I think yeah, uh, that uh, gave a good uh, impression of what this quadcopter is like. And again, I had me uh, this uh, DJI Action 2 camera on it and no uh, stabilization. I think it flies pretty well by now. However, however, I'm very used to tuning for these quadcopters. And this is also a self-built quadcopter with, where it uh, is with a Foxeer R5 frame. I've built me a lot of quadcopters with these frames. Uh, a very nice frame, very stiff and durable frame. And with this frame I can get away with a whole lot of uh, filtering. Or low filter settings I should say. And it's always the same with these quadcopters, right? After uh, a couple of builds you know what you have if you always build your quadcopters with the same frame. With this quadcopter however, uh, this is a, an inexpensive frame. That doesn't mean it's a bad frame, this uh, TBS Source uh, 1. But I did have to add a whole lot more filtering. A whole lot more the, the stock bead of light filtering as you could see here. Ordinarily I have the top slider to 1.2 or 1.3 and uh, with this TBS frame I uh, had to resort to uh, the dock stock filtering. And with that um, yeah the PRD tune is stock so it's definitely not a bad setup. And these propellers uh, again all parts of this quadcopter are listed in the description. Uh, these propellers and the motors are pretty racy and this was uh, well approximately my 20th flight with this T motor stack. Now I, it's not a durability uh, a report or a test at all of course, 20 flights. I have had a couple of minor crashes with this quadcopter but nothing major. Yeah so the stack is fine. It was an inexpensive uh, stack which is uh, weird to say for a T motor product but um, yeah, 90-ish uh, euro for a complete F7 stack, that's inexpensive. The, f the frame is also inexpensive and the motors were for my, from my parts bin. <laughs> but even then, Gap RC motors are uh, inexpensive. And I did, I did uh, use a TBS FEV transmitter. I do want to see where I'm going, right? So that wraps up this project, I think. A cheap quadcopter in 2023. So uh, you tell me in the comment section below what you think. Have you been building quadcopters of late and what do you think of the current prices? I think there's uh, some inflation but also over uh, pricing. Uh, I think manufacturers are using uh, the inflation as a, an excuse to pump up their pricing. That's my humble opinion of course. You tell me in the description down below what you think of the current pricing of uh, quadcopters and their parts. And that's it. I want to thank you for watching. Catch you on the next video. Bye bye.